Hi everyone, good evening, it's Hira here and uh, this is part two of the career coach content training and so what I wanted to cover in this one is the business development aspects and the rev share agreements that we have with people who want to partner with us in, in uh, bringing university contracts um, on board as well as uh, referral um, fees for individual signups to coaching. Okay, so I think I've already discussed this with several of you who are interested and I think there's about four of you who are very, very interested who have reached out to me and we've talked a little bit more about this already. This is just to sort of, you know, level set the field and make sure all of you know what the opportunity is so that you can all take advantage of it. And there's really, again, just like the way the coaching works, there's really no downside. It's just a question of you know, you get a referral fee if a student uses your code and buys a product. Similarly, if you wanted to put some effort into targeting a school, your undergraduate institution or the, the way you did your master's or MBA, or it's a school or university right around where you live, or it's a sibling's university, um, and whatever, you know, any educational institution, and by the way, it doesn't have to be, it could be a community college, it could be um, some sort of technical college in any educational, but has a job component. As you know, it doesn't matter. It's this is it's the big sphere of people who need internships and jobs, right? So they can be prospective students, they can be current students, they can be recently graduated students who need help or looking. And your access to those pools of people through whatever means that you have, right? Or maybe you belong to some sort of, um, uh, in your industry, you belong to an association and you notice that particular schools are very strong in that um, uh, uh, association, you know, things like that. So you can look out really for anything where you feel like, do I have a connection to this school? Can I go and approach career services? Okay. And so... Um, that reminds me, um, another point to remember is that typically with the universities, you are working with um, career service. In other words, when you're negotiating this, when you're going and trying to talk to people, have these conversations, inevitably, it's career services that's going to make the final call in terms of budget, right? People, lots of people might get involved and talk and give input, but in the end, it's usually the head of career services that's going to make the decision as to whether they'll put $40,000 into this or $40,000 into that. Um, usually the program office also tends to have a say, depends, right? Um, so if you have an ally in the program office, if you have an ally in one of the more administrative functions, but that they realize how important the key, the uh, university, the job piece is, right? So with the alumni association, there are so many other parts of the university that could be on, on the same page in terms of this goal of job placement and increasing opportunities for students. So it's a question of finding who those key people are. But I would say 80% of the times, it, they're the career services people. Okay, and then I would also say where the international student thing is a big deal, um, which it is pretty much everywhere. Um, and as Kareli is, um, you know, obviously um, big on that, it's one of our unique selling points that we're very, very good um, with the international student coaching piece. So, you know, obviously any school that has either a large number of international students and or the, it's not the number, it's the fact that it's a very big goal for them. It's important to them, um, you know, makes them a good candidate for us. So in, that, in those scenarios, you might be coordinating, again, either with the international coach for students within career services. It could be in, in the, there's usually an office of international programs or office of global programs or something like that, that takes care of international student affairs or international students student affairs. So they could be someone sitting in that um, department. It could be that you approach two, uh, you might have to approach different angles uh, here. So, but yeah, so basically figure out who is the right person you have to get in front of. 
So I just quickly want to mention what the uh, referral schemes are. So the first one is the very, very simple, every person gets a code, right? So every coach gets their own unique code. Anybody who uses that code and buys the coaching package, right? So remember now we have three packages, right? The, the uh, content package, the coaching package, the access package. The one you need to focus on is the coaching package because that's where you come in. That's what you'll be doing. That's where the volume is. It's the coaching package. That's So that's the, the gold package. The access package does have coaching in it, but remember that the numbers there are much smaller. It's a by application only package because we need to kind of have a control over who we can actually introduce people to, seeing as we're charging people for, um, you know, almost functioning as a age, like the, we are, we're taking them under our wing and we're doing everything we can to kind of leverage all our networks and help that person out. So we can't, you know, obviously take everybody. We have to, we have to have like an application process for that. And yes, certainly you'll be coaching some of those students, uh, but the majority are going to be the regular middle package coaching. Um, students and anytime you refer somebody anytime you refer I mean it could be some again like I said it could be from any school um, it could be from a friend who knows you it could be because you put it up on LinkedIn it could be because people hear that you know people already know you're a mentor but now that you now you're doing it a little bit more seriously and in a more streamlined fashion and it's part of a larger group of um, coaches and uh, you know this is through people get to know you through other you know social networks communities church what have you right so the idea is that somebody likes you and appreciates being coached by you now you can only help them to a certain extent right you can help them for about a half hour maybe maximum an hour but it's to say to them you know, if you want me to really work with you, if you want me to sit down and really be your coach and to approach this in a systematic way, then I suggest that maybe you try out the platform and you can use my code. If you use my code, you get 25% off. Okay, so 25% off to the person who uses your code and then you get $80 for that transact for that uh, coaching package, the, co the coaching packages at the moment are at one hundred and twenty dollars. Sorry, um, twelve hundred dollars for the. But these, this is for the entire year, right? It's a year year subscription, and it includes ten coaching appointments. It includes all our proprietary content, uh, and there's a whole bunch of other things that that you get with that middle package. But so, um, so they get uh, twenty dollars twenty percent off of that and you get $80 as well. So that's a very clear, straightforward strategy, I hope, right? It's like your, I don't know, your friend's um, daughter is in college and they, they, she, you know, people really count on you. I know a lot of you are people who other people already count on, right? So you are doing some of this work already and it's just a chance for you to say look I'm happy to help and I can sit down with you and you know we can talk for half an hour I can even you know spend an hour with you but after that I just simply can't do this uh, more thoroughly and I do believe that's what you need here I can help you for sure you know my suggestion is go to the platform and sign up and then not only do you get access to me, you actually get access to my colleagues who are also great, et cetera, et cetera, and you get these other things and, you know, so that's how you sort of, um, and there's, and it's, it's very, it's a genuine thing, right? Because they need, they want your help, they need your help. And, you know, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, seeing as you're doing the hard lifting here, it's not something, it's not a career services somewhere. It's not, you know, you are doing what is required well then you should be compensated for it right so that that's that's a fair system then and yes we should help alumni and we all have dependent on alumni and yes there is a reason for that to still be there uh, but it can't be it can't be a substitute for what career services is doing and it's not fair for it to be for there to be so much pressure on that system and for those groups of people not to get some some compensation for their time, right? So that's kind of what Curly is trying to do here. And that's 
again also why we feel very strongly that if you are to bring in some students, if you if you are to help us uh, build our community, well then you should get a part of that right off the top. So that's the that's the deal for the codes, and you know you get your code. All it is is like any other referral system. You ask a student. Now it could be somebody already coached who needs more coaching. It could be a brand new person. It could be anything, right? And then there is the other piece. So what I just talked to you about is B2C, right? Direct to consumer. That's the students. That's the parents, right? Those are individuals who are paying. B2B is other universities, right? And other related institutions that will want to have a contract with us and that will pay for that coaching for their students. So that's actually how Kareli has functioned until now, right? We have gotten contracts with universities um, anywhere between 15K to our largest was is because they're continuing um, 95,000 right so and by the time we decided to go ahead with this platform we had built up to about eight schools and so and you can see that the variation right just like I said some some is $15,000 and $95,000 right so but therein lies your opportunity I mean I would say that maybe a good way to think about it is to go for sort of like the 40-ish, 40 is I think a good, you know, that a medium-sized um, contract or like a high-end, all-inclusive, you know, a, a contract that's in more like the 80 to 100. I mean, of course, not that if you can do 200, if you can do 400,000, that is um, entirely fine. I'm just saying from my experience, it seems like they skew in those brackets, kind of like 30, 40, and then 80 to 80 and upwards. And there, the revenue share agreement is also, again, very straightforward and hopefully quite generous. Um, we, we are uh, sharing 20% of the revenue um, of those contracts, and that's top line. So it's, you know, literally, the, we have a contract, and as the contract, you know, money hits our account, shortly thereafter, it'll hit your account, okay? So it's, you know, this is, bef this is not operating um, profits. It's not, we're bearing all the costs, the operational costs, right? Everything from travel to decks to whatever you need, you'll be asking us and we'll be providing you with that. So really, one, that's why. So you get the contract and then literally that 20% from the top line number of that contract before anything else. I mean, this is before tax, before anything, that goes to that goes to you. And to really show you how much we value this part of um, the business, and also because I really do believe that the best people to um, really be an advocate for a product, a genuine true ambassador for a product, are the people who are doing that day in and day out. So in other words, you you as coaches, you are the best ambassadors for Kareli, right? I mean, the idea of hiring a team of marketing salespeople, it, to me is, you know, they don't know the product. And that, whereas you know, you intimately know it, you you are, I mean, in some ways you are the problem, I mean, you're, you are working with students. And so I really do think that it's just phenomenal to have the coaches take an interest in this and help us build this together. And for me, it is truly whatever it takes, right? It's that important. Um, that's why the $80 and that's why the $20 and that's why your first contract um, is uh, 50, um, sorry, what is it, $20, um, 20%. The first contract is 50%, okay? So it's 20% rev share normally and your first contract is 50% rep share, okay? So for example, if you, and everything is all set up, everything is good to go, you, we have decks to give you, we can, if you want me to sit down with you, and you know, sometimes it's just, you have to think about it a little bit strategically, you know, universities just, like I said, they're some, they're very not particularly transparent, they're all different, they all have different goals, they are, you know, some are, you know, very willing to leverage us as a platform, others might be a little bit more 
competitive about you, know, you just have to there's so much you have to kind of figure out that is by school but um once you are interested in a particular target I am me and the and you know the other sort of senior management and partners would be more than happy to sit down with you and figure that strategy out, fly out to wherever you need us to fly out. Um, so it is it is important to us. So imagine a situation, for example, where you could you know hopefully you have everything you need, and if you have some context and if you want to do this, then tomorrow by all means um, you could go and start working on a contract with the university for say twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Uh, which is not a huge, you know, it's relatively small, it could be a pilot. Um, and so right there that, you know, as we sign that contract right there, $15,000 from the $30,000 or $20,000 from the $40,000 directly goes to you very, very shortly after signing. So that's, you know, and the reason why we've done it that way is because we're already in the, I mean, the semester has already started. Um, and this is critical. This is go time for schools. They're really, they're kind of overwhelmed with investment banking, overwhelmed with consulting, overwhelmed with international students, and also overwhelmed with everybody who kind of doesn't fit in because what they don't know what to do with that, right? So, um, so September, October, November are huge months, and um, I don't think we're late in. Uh, yeah, it is kind of right now where things are happening, but in some ways that's also where they're feeling the pressure and are more likely to listen to us. Um, so because once this window passes, then it's it's kind of a question of, you know, the, the you know it's basically February, March ish, and then there's another kind of flurry of activity as students are graduating and they don't have jobs, right? But now is the perfect time. So I would, if you are interested, I would start right away. And uh, when Sam sends out these, uh, so we have three parts, right, that I have done. For this particular part, there's the deck that accompanies it. And what we did was we prepared it. It's got um, 12 slides and um, 10 slides, actually. And it's very, very, it really is just the big nuggets, right? So it's just to say, look, Kareli is not new to, I mean, first of all, the platform is new, but we're not new to this. We've been doing this. We have a four-year track record, and we've worked with some of the largest, some of the big name universities, but we've also worked with other types of universities as well. And we built, we went from a very small $15,000 contract all the way to these eight contracts in the space of under four years, right? So we have, um, and we have metrics to say how many, how many students, how many coaching appointments, um, our YouTube channel, how many, you know, the 2.6 million uh, people who watch that channel, the 18,000 subscribers. I mean, there is a lot here to say, look, we already have a track record. We've done this for four years and it's been with some very well-known, solid universities. And while doing it for four years, we've learned a lot. We we've, we've very clearly see where, where the gaps are. We see where universities are struggling. We see where career services are struggling. We see where students are struggling as well. Sometimes career services is very unfortunately held accountable for something that's beyond their means. I mean, the H-1B situation is a very good example where international students are upset and they might hit back with very negative feedback. But what can career services do? Um, so, you know, again, these are the things that you want to be saying to them, right? So we've kind of summarized all those points into into this um, into this deck and then there are obviously other um, uh, unique selling points for them working with us um, everything from the fact that it's uh, it's virtual they get to they get to access 31 coaches they get to access um, pretty much every single industry vertical um, several coaches in the popular verticals it's um, the students can be anywhere the coaches can be anywhere um, we've also made it very simple in terms of partnerships right so I think I already mentioned to you that um, different schools do you know want to do different things you know some want to buy credits and they want to control how they give those credits out others will say okay we'll subsidize this package uh, at you know, we'll subsidize it at 20%, we'll subsidize it at 50%, we'll subsidize it at 80%. We'll pay for the whole thing because it's only a small, we're going to take a small group of 
20, 30 students, a small program, and we're going to pay the full cost for all of them. I mean, there are all kinds of ways they can do this. And we are now getting familiar with the, you know, I would say there's about two or three different ways this can go. And so, um, so there's information on all of that and how to tackle it and, you know, sort of like where the pricing falls, depending on volumes that they pick and depending on these, op these options. So we'll get all that out to you. And feel free to, I mean, the deck really is, you know, you are in the, you know your peeps the best, right? So in other words, just like I know Georgetown uh, and I know Wharton and I know Hopkins and I know Catholic University, like I know the mental, I know what's going on. I mean, I'm, you too will know these things with your schools. And so you will know best how to, you know, maybe... A deck is not the way to go. <laughs> Maybe um, a very short deck of like three slides and that's the way to go. Um, so you have to figure out what is the best way of getting in front of them and what's the best way to kind of get the message out. But we want to provide you with whatever you need, right? So that's why obviously the deck and then I wanted to make sure that the numbers, the Excel spreadsheet with all the different calculations and numbers for the schools, we, we have that as well. And then I just want you to know that I'm 100% available for um, talking through, like if you have it, this has already happened with a few coaches. So let's say you have one or two targets and you want to sit down with me and figure out how best to approach them and which way to... Because some, maybe we don't, there are packages that we don't want to mention, right? Because in this particular case, that's, we don't want that, right? So there's so many things to think about in terms of what's the end goal with this school. Oh, it's a large school. Maybe it's fully worth it to us to get, you know, I don't know, 10,000 students registered on our platform. So what can we, what are we willing to do in terms of revenue and coaching to get, make that happen, right? Conversely, it's a very small university and the number of users may not be such a big deal, but it's a university that's in the middle of nowhere and doesn't really have many connections to alumni. And so they're the kind of, um, but they have money and they, they, they might be willing to pay 100% subsidy for 100 students. I don't know. So it's, um, it's these are things that you, you and I um, can work together. And I have made, you know, a very big part of my schedule as much as a schedule exists, um, <laughs> I am I'm leaving a lot of time aside for that because I'm working on that myself. All the partners are working on that, all the senior team. And so, you know, if you want to do that, we really, really value it and we appreciate that effort. And so you and I getting together is a priority. So please, you know, reach out. We'll set up a meeting and I'll get on a call with you as soon as possible. If you know, if at latter stages you need to get on, get me on a plane or meet people, uh, I'm I'm very very happy to do that, and I'm available. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.